Manifesting Union. Raise your hand if you think that you need to capture a leprechaun or kidnap Santa Claus or somehow find a lamp to rub where like a genie pops out and that's how you get into Union. Or like raise your hand if you think that like blue rays and yellow rays and star star path seed gazes and like pegasuses with like Lionsgate portals are like floating around in space and this like magic wand pops out and poof everyone's in union the whole the whole world well let's talk about how you really get how you really manifest your union and we'll we'll simplify it as like as best we possibly can so uh let's talk about focus and how important focus is and so focus is the difference between success and failure what are you focusing on are you focusing on having something are you focusing on uh feeling what what you desire in your experience so or do you focus on having your twin flame like already being with them uh the things that you do together uh, you know you could use your imagination here or um are you focusing on on wanting and needing them and and not having them right because focusing on having something and believing that that it's already in your experience and trusting that that is coming to you, you're not really worried about it. It's already done. So you go on your merry way and you, you focus your attention on uh, just that, those things. Because your focus creates your world. And, you know, what you focus your energy into and what you uh, what you're really uh, honing in on is what you get back. So if you're focused on having something, then that's what you're getting back. If you're focused on not having something, uh, that's what you're getting back too. you're focused on the right, then you're getting all the right things back. If you're focused on the wrong you're getting all the wrong things back. And I, what I mean by that is things that you don't want. You don't want these things, but you're focused on them. So that's what you're getting. Uh, so it's about like focusing, putting your focus on already having these things. You know, if you're focusing on, on wanting, um, then that's what you're going to get more of. That's what the universe is going to give you back more of. Right, so how do you know if you're focused uh, throughout the day on on the right thing or the wrong thing? Uh, because every second of the day, whether you realize it or not, you're focused on something. You're thinking something. Your thoughts are creating something. So if you feel good, you're focused in the right direction. Your focus is in is within is in alignment with what you want what you desire if you don't feel good your focus is not in alignment with what you want not with within alignment with what you desire and that's what you're getting right so the the important piece to take away is that you're focused on what makes you happy keep putting your focus on what it is that makes you happy and leave the other you know crap of what's not working out for you or what's not doesn't seem to be the case you really don't need that stuff so you know you can say um like you know i want union i want union i want union i want my twin i want my twin but your mind says like, 
you don't deserve that. You're you're not worthy of that. You can't have that. Uh, I I don't want that because they did this to me, or uh, I don't want them anymore. These are all blocks. That's all they are. Uh, you're putting a considerable amount of weight on it because you believe them to be true, uh, but they're just blocks that need to be uh, healed. They're just misaligned thoughts that need to be corrected. So um, regardless of like if you're saying, uh, I want my twin, I want my twin, but these other thoughts are coming up, that's what's running your life. That's what you're manifesting. Like it's, it's, it's once you, uh, correct these limiting beliefs, then you can, then the manifesting starts to happen. But this isn't like, you know, you're just sitting there, uh, waiting for the universe to like hand you what you want on a silver platter, uh, because you feel good sometimes, right? This is a co-creation. There's work for you to do. There's the universe has its job in giving you uh, everything that you want, and not necessarily in the in the time frame or in in the way that you think that it should happen. But that's something that you know you have to deal with. You, your your job is to ask for the things that you want, and then surrender all the other stuff to how and you know what and when to the universe for it to for it to bring it into into your experience and it, it means like co-creating is doing your part like you have a part in this you play a part in this by making choices and by uh, you know clear clearing out your and correcting your your limiting beliefs and clearing out your blocks and that's that's essentially manifestation of your of your union like you ask for it but then there's all of these uh limited beliefs that you, that are keep popping up in your head and they need to be dealt with that's that's essentially you know how this all works and like i said you you uh, go ahead and like my video and like i said you um your job is to follow that good feeling. Keep following what feels good. Keep following that focus of, of your thoughts that, that make you feel joy. And, you know, if you start to think thoughts that aren't making you feel so good, then they're either blocks or, you know, you're, you're chasing down a rabbit hole that, that you're creating and manifesting things that you don't want, right? So the holidays are coming up and this, you know, might be a bit of a tough time for everybody if if uh, this is, you know, if you're really, you know, wanting to be with your twin and, you know, holidays can, can uh, trigger uh, a lot of different emotions and people. So uh, visit asoneguidance.com uh, and, you know, Connect with me, see the coaching uh, that I provide, and uh, check out my e-course. E the first three lessons are free. Um, you know, and uh, also leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time.